Hi, good morning. Thank you for attending this webinar about increased quality and productivity generating e-learning content. My name is Marta Jimenez. I am the product specialist at Zainet. To begin with, I will give you a brief introduction about STEM Learning. STEM Learning is a learning content management system that provides advanced content management and collaborative authoring functionality. This way, you can quickly create, manage, and deliver e-learning content in different platforms. Extend support all the standards as SCORM, EMSCC, EMSQGI, EPUB3, EduPub, eBook, Tinkan, etc. Allowing single source editing and multiple output publishing scenarios. Extend Learning allows easy collaboration with the workgroup between authors, editors, instructors, uh, subject matter expert, instructional designers, public leader, template designers, etc. Controlling the access rights of each profile and ensure full control of your content in a distributed environment. The base of extend learning is set down, digital asset management, where all the asset and learning object and digital templates are organized and centralized. In extend, the content is native XML and is always separate from the design or container. This way, everything is reusable. In this webinar, we will see how to create e-learning course from the scratch, simplifying the teaching process, how to manage courses with a control workflow assignments and deadline, how to create personalized version courses based in other ones, and how easily we can create interactive assessments. Also, we will generate multiple output formats from a single source. So, let's begin with the demo. This main screen that you can see here is uh, the platform of Extend that you can access simply with a navigator and a URL. Extend is a um, platform, a publishing platform that you can, um, that is all developed in Java so you can download the Java client and you can save it um, later for use it. I can open it. When I open Extend, these little windows appear that I can introduce the username and password that is always assigned to a user profile. Okay, uh, this user profile has some restrictions and some permissions inside the system. The next thing that opens is the virtual desktop of Extend. The platform Extend has, uh, depending on the profile, different icons. We can see here the main um, the main tools. In Extend, if I double click in this workspace area, so now let's create a new course based on a digital structure already made. I can see here the sample course with all this digital structure empty only with the digital templates that gives the look and feel to the course. So, if I choose in the uh, in the menu the option clone, I can reproduce this structure for my new publication. I can choose to copy the web pages and link the web templates. Um, this cloning folder is going to appear right after um, the same 
the sample course um, about history. So this way we can begin to create our new course and add content to this one. We already have here. Now I can just organize my subject, move them with drag and drop. If I want to um, fill all this structure, I can begin to add content just creating new content with the web editor in Extend. But in this case, to be faster, I'm going to convert a word in different content reusable elements. I have here a unit with some content that I can bring into my working folder. Only with drag and drop I can upload any content to extend. Uh, I have an option in extend to convert to import the word and convert it in native XML. So I choose this option and in the, in the same folder it's going to be created uh, all the different uh, reusable elements of the word. We have already these elements. The extend server is creating all this automatic process. If I open the word, uh, I can see that only with a little tagging I can organize all the learning objects that I want to create it and the structure inside the e-learning objects. In this case, this is the name that I want to create and this is all the different sections inside this uh, learning object. I can begin to distribute the content these elements are object linked to the real um, to, to the real element that is in the dam. If I want to see how this structure look and feel looks like, I can just select the, the folder and access to folder preview. So we can see here all the content. We can move for the different sections and access to all those different contents. If I want to add any um, asset to the e-learning object, I can select any keyword and look into the DAM with this button. Uh, the DAM now is taking this keyword and looking into the DAM all those um, assets that has this keyword. I can see the preview of the assets and I can select the ones that I want In this case, I'm going to select, I, I, I'm selected um, this video and this image. And I can just drag and drop into the asset container. The asset container, I can just select the property that I need, in this case, uh, video big because I want to 
to display it big with the content and this is the image video because I want to be the preview of the video. If I click on this button, I can see the preview of the e-learning object with the asset that I already had. I can see the preview and if I go to this view we can we can see how can we can manage in this view all the elements that compound a e-learning course if we go to this course we can see different colors with the column status that are the different steps of the authoring and publishing process in this e-learning course. I can also see this column that is the assigned profile with all these different profiles and the tasks with a deadline. If I, if I want to see if I have any assignments, I can select in the window menu my assignations and I can see that I have an assignation from uh, V Moreno and um, if I click on the class, I can see the description of the assignment. Please review and add one more, one more exercise. This is a linked object that I can bring to my digital structure to work easy with it. I can drag and drop and if I double click the web editor opens And I can see all these exercises or assessment for the test, for the math test. If I want to add a new exercise, I can choose with this button the type of exercise that I need to add. In this case, I have the true false type typology, the fill blanks that um, you can fill the blanks in the exercise with editing, with drag and drop elements, or choosing from a combo. The test type is just you leave a blank so the students can write, and then the teacher. I can just do the scoring later. Uh, the combo selection where only one answer is the correct and you can choose it from a drop down menu. The mono selections or mono choice, only one question is the right one and you can select from a radio button. The multi selection uh, can be more than one answer correct and you can select it from a um, uh, checkbox. The ordering, uh, you need to order a column. The grouping, you need to order several uh, columns and the relate one to one. You can choose one element from a column uh, and match it with um, another element for the second column. The relate one to one is that you can relate one to more than one element and elements and relate multiple uh, is three columns. In this case, I want to add the mono selection. And I can uh, write down my exercise.
I, I can um, add a formula with the wireless editor. If I click on this button, the, the wireless editor opens and I can add any complex formula that I need. Um, I can just do all this formula with all these different tabs choosing what I need in its moment and I can create the most complex formula very easy and very quickly I can save it within the Wheels Math Editor and um, we can see it inside the exercise I can begin to write down the options and I can select which is the correct option with this button I can see that the value now is true and here the value is false and the value is false if I want to see the preview of this exercise I can go with this button and see it I, this is the math test with the different exercise I can see here the one that I made and the correct answer now we can create an XCORM export if I go to my course to math course I can see the different digital formats that I can um, export for this course. In this case, I have all those standards for e-learning, SCORE 2004, EMSCC, EMSCC version 1 with QTI, export QTI version 2. So I choose SCORE 2004. And now the, the system is creating with this XML and digital templates all these final format packets as a SCORM 2004. That when we do this process, this upload directly to the LMS platform. We can see that we have already the packet and I can see in my downloads in my local downloads, the package of today. I can go to my LMS platform and I can add the course very easy. I can select the package and import. Uh, we can do this the same process with any uh, e-learning standard okay um, not only uh, score but also Tinkan or canvas or EMS CC etc if we land we can see the content that we already made with our assets the test this is a fill combo test you can select the different um, answers this is a fill drag where I can choose 
the right ones. Uh, this is a uh, topology, um, geometry, uh, I think this is trigonometry, mm, uh, fractal, I think it's this one. I don't know if I'm going to do it right. Uh, measure theory, let's see if it's that one and um, that one. Okay. Uh, true, false, and true. And this is going to do it wrong. Okay. I did it wrong. I did it okay. I did it wrong. I did it okay. And I did it okay. Okay. Let's see. So if we exit, we can see that we did the test. And let's see the scoring. Well, okay, I passed. That's good. So if we go to, well, we see that the total time is one minute, uh, 39 seconds. If we go to the registration, we can see all the tracking of the content. In the test, if you know we do it uh, true, if we complete uh, the scoring, if we passed all of this, let's come back to STEM, and uh, we we will see now how to manage uh, courses, uh, creating new ones based in others. So. I can reproduce any digital structure with or without content inside to create a new version of course from others. So in this case, I select this unit and I can clone. I can select to clone also the content inside the web pages and link the digital templates. This is going to be the unit 6, for example, and it's going to appear right below the unit 1. We'll see, we, we see that the folder clone OK. And now I can reorganize all these units as I need it. I can also change the look and feel of the course in a very easy way. Uh, I have a base related with uh, CSS and JavaScript and fonts. The templates can have not only one base, but can have more than one. This way, we can change the appearance of a course very quickly. If, in this case, I just go to Digital Utils and Update Base, I can change all the look and feel of the course very quickly. If I go to folder preview, I can see how change all the look and feel of the content. OK. The navigators open, and here I have all the new look and feel of our unit, or course. Math test. Math test. With all these questions. All the content inside the sections I can move. So I could create now a new format, new output format for my publication.
for example, HTML5 or EPUB. So I could do it a new publication with a different appearance and a different format very easy. Uh, now I'm going to package this test in a individual HTML5 packet because I wanted to um, add it to a book as an interactive element. So Extend allows allow us to create individual packets, individual HTML packets with this content. I can go to Digital Utils and select HTML5 packets. We can see that it's going to create a new zip packet inside the same Section 3 folder. This linked object, we can move it anywhere that we need. In this case, we are going to take the packet to our math folder with all the interactive elements. Now, I open a book where I can add the HTML test that I just created with Extend. If I go to this view, I can see the book and I can see these little icons with a highlight area that means that here there is an interactive element. Well, here I can see this is a gallery with different pictures. This is an audio. And here I will add the HTML assessment. And select in my folder the course. And now in the digital menu, I can choose the final format that I need for my publication. I choose the EPUB 3. I have already the packet downloaded and if I open you can see You can see the different interactive elements. The gallery. The audio. Human beings. And the HTML packet with the assessments. Okay. Um, but this uh, complete the webinar today. Uh, we have seen uh, how to create e-learning course from the beginning based on a, a digital structure already made.
in this case we have the sample course that we reproduce to create the course maths. We have seen also how to convert a word to reusable content uh, for training material. So in this case, this word we, um, we convert in all those different individual um, e-learning objects. Uh, we already um, s create some exercises with formulas. We see the um, uh, filter view with all those um, editorial statuses and all the as assignments and the profiles with the deadlines. We, we saw also how to export uh, to an e-learning standard as SCORE 2004 and how to upload it to the LMS platform. To the LMS platform. Um, we saw also how to change easily the look and feel with changing the base of a course. Uh, we also how to package we, we saw how to package content elements as HTML and to add it into a book and created digital formats with interactive elements as EPUB3. Um, well, let me know if you have any questions and write it down in the chat window, please. Um, also, uh, I want to thank you, everyone, to, to assist to this webinar, and I hope uh, to see you in the next one. Uh, thank you for uh, your attention.